Here with our trades is Ava Ados, the COO and Chief Investment Strategist at ER Shares. Great to see you today, Ava. Up first, we have American Airlines shares soaring after the company reported fourth quarter results that topped estimates. Here's CEO Robert Isom discussing the state of travel right now. As we go into the first quarter, we see demand strong. I think that we're going to have a really busy first and second quarter. And look, I think the, the time to buy is, is right now for travel. It's going to be a busy year. Ava, what's your trade on American Airlines? I have it as a hold. They're having a great day today, up about 10%. I wouldn't buy on this news. I would hold. Uh, we need Many consumers don't realize this is no longer the biggest domestic airline company. They used to be back in 2015 with $40 billion in market cap. Now they're down to $9 billion. That makes them the fifth largest domestic mm. airline company. And back then, they had three times, um, they have profits that were three times higher, and that came with revenues at one-third below current levels. However, they are making a progress with their debt. It has come down by $11 billion in recent years. They have also improving their profits and their revenues. And uh, last year, they also decreased their energy costs. But I'm not sure if, it's, if this is going to be the case this year, as we have the Red Sea tensions. We don't know if this is going to affect their operations costs going forward. So a little tentative on American Airlines. Uh, let's go to CSX now. Fourth quarter profit slipping there, but the company's CEO still expects a profitable year for the railroad. Here's Joe Hinrich talking about why he sees strong demand on Squawk on the Street earlier. I'm feeling optimistic, actually. What we saw in December was interesting. Chemicals, forest products, international modal Intermodal all year long, we're down until December. We started seeing inflection positive. Autos, coal, metals, and minerals have been positive all year, and we see that continuing. So we're actually feeling pretty good about what we're seeing on the demand side right now. Feeling good on demand. How, about, how are you feeling about uh, CSX, Ava? Uh, it's a hold. Um, again, this is a slow growth area, but they're, they're doing a great job generating profits, which is important. And their margins are one, are one and a half times their peers. So that's really good. Uh, but they have, which is uh, actually it's 38 percent compared to 23 percent for their peers. But they have a debt to capital ratio, which is double their peers, which is not not good there. So they're highly leveraged. Um, I need to mention that in the last 20 years, they have doubled their margins, which is also good because in this area, in this slow growth area, it's not very common. But their margins have been coming down in recent years. So I'm not sure how this is going to continue. If investors want to have exposure in this space, then this is a fairly priced, solid company. I wouldn't invest in this space. All right. Lastly, we have Papa John's unveiling a new marketing strategy for the year. Here's CEO Robert Lynch talking about the strength the company's seeing. He was on the exchange last hour. We feel great as we look towards 2024. We've seen a stabilization of our business relative to the last three and a half years where we've gone through, obviously, a global pandemic, um, some, some conflict across the world, and then hyperinflation. So we feel like we are in a great position right now to take advantage of a stabilized environment. Ava, everybody was talking about whether they eat Papa John's, but should they trade Papa John's? Uh, I have it as a sell. We used to own the company years ago, but then we eliminated our position when the founder was removed over some controversy. Mm -hmm. uh, their margins are half their peers, and their revenue growth is actually negative. But most important, their international sales came down in the, re the last year reported. The reason why we want to mention this is that international used to account for 10% of their total sales, but that contributed 20% of their profits. So it had doubled the contribution. And with the international tensions that we see in Europe and Asia, that can significantly affect their profits going forward. All right, Ava, thank you very much. Ava Ados, uh, a sell on Papa John.